Hello, hello, hello. Good morning all. How are we doing this morning? I know we're doing fine. Nice to see all of us. Okay, so this is Easy Mass Tutor Morning Prep Class. Morning Prep Class. I'm here for you all um, to do some jump, solve some quick jump questions. So I'm quickly going to 2020 jump past question. Jump 2020 past question. Okay. Jump 2020 past question. Jam 2020 is in um, past questions, is what we're working on today. So, question eight. I'm going to show you question eight. I remember I'm using show guide to jam past question for sciences. This is what I'm using. Okay, so I want us to look at this question. Question eight. Question eight. Can you see it? Question eight. Okay, question eight. That's it. So, take out your paper, pen, and let's work on this together. It says a room is 12 meter long, nine meter wide, and eight meter high. Before I go on, please share the link to others. Let me share this link to others. Share, 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 share. Share Easy Mass Tutor so that students can get across to these live stream classes. Share, please share, 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 share. I will always say share the link. Share the link, share it out, share me out. Share the host out so that people that need this can actually benefit from this. Please share this out. A room is 12 meters long, 6 meters wide, and 8 meters high. Find the cosine of the angle which a diagonal of the room makes for the floor of the room. A room is... 12. We're going to draw a diagram of this room so that we can Let me draw the diagram of the room, okay? Quickly. Draw it. So we say we're going to draw a dummy room like a rectangular or a cuboid. A cuboid. So this is our room, the bedroom, the parlor, the kitchen, any of them. Okay, I can see some people on the charts. I can see some people on the charts. Thank you, fairy, love light. Thank you. Hello, hello, good morning, glorious reality. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming. Kindly share out this link. Okay? So we're here to learn together this morning. Those of you that have your exams, your jump exams coming up this week and next week, you can quickly catch up on your mathematics. All right? I know math is compulsory for some courses in jump, so we'll have to do something about that. So the question says, a room is 12 meters long, 9 meters wide, and 8 meters high. Okay? 12 meters long, 9 meters wide, and 8 meters high. Sleazy Ella. Sleazy Ella. Steezy Ella. 
Welcome to this chat. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? So please share me out. Share the host out. So that people can be part of this. I'm sweating this morning. Pardon me. <laughs> Maybe you guys have to get me an air conditioner. Okay. And I have a little bit of a cold. So bear with me. A little bit of a cold. Thank you, Ella. Okay. Okay. So let's move. Let's move. 12 meters long. Let's say it is 12 meters long. Okay. And then it's nine meters wide. Nine. This is nine. Nine meters wide and eight meters high. Eight meters high. All right. So the question is, find the cosine of the angle which a diagonal of the room makes with the floor of the room. Find the cosine of the angle. Find the cosine of the angle which a, dia which a diagonal of the room makes with the floor of the room. So I'm guessing this is a diagonal. This is a diagonal, okay? This is a diagonal of this room, diagonal of this room. So we're gonna draw it in a front view. To draw it in a front view, so we'll have a box looking like this. Okay, so what we'll do first, I'll draw also a diagonal on the side. Diagonal on the side, okay, of the room. So we're going to draw out these triangles. Now this is this part of the box, okay. Okay, this is the part of the box. That's eight meters and nine meters. This part, this part, this part of the room, this wall of the room, that is what we have here, okay? So we have a diagonal on this wall. You understand? Which is one side of this triangle, which is one side of this triangle. So they said the need, the angle, the diagonal mixed with the floor. So I think they're talking about this angle, this angle, okay? That's angle theta. Okay, so this side is this side, this side is this side, and then we're going to have a triangle. We're going to have a triangle. This triangle, this is theta. This part will be 12 meters. This part will be 12 meters, 12 meters. Then this diagonal, we don't know what it is. This diagonal, we do not know what it is. This side of the triangle, this side is this side. Let's call this uh, the wall, W. We don't know what W is, okay? So basically, if we find W and we find X, then we can find theta. Then we can find theta, okay? If we find W, we can find theta already. You get. We we'll find W, we can already find theta. We don't need X. So, first of all, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Let me quickly arrange this. Can you see the board? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so first of all, we're going to find this diagonal, okay? We're going to find this diagonal, W, right? So I will use tan. I love to use tan. Oh, okay, I can use Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras 
Pythagoras what? Theorem. To find the value of W. Okay? Pythagoras theorem is the square, the sum of the square of two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Okay? So we have W square will be equal to 8 square plus 9 square. Therefore, W is equal to the square root of 8 square plus 9 square. So I'll use my calculator. I'll use my calculator. So I'll get the square root of 8 square plus 9 square. Okay, so this is how I'm calculating it. The square root of bracket 8 square plus 9 square. Okay, so I'm using Pythagoras theorem. And my answer is what? Approximately 12. I'm going to approximate it. This is our answer. So I'm going to approximate it. Approximately 12. Good morning, Pate Yaba. You're welcome to this, to this live jam class. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for coming. It's approximately 12 meters. So now that we have this value of this W as 12 meters, what is our X? What is our X? The cosine. So we say cos, they found, they're looking for the cosine, okay? The cosine of this angle is what? Adjacent, 12 is adjacent to this angle, all over what? The hypotenuse, which is x. Okay, there's something here, something here. So we're gonna find the value of x, okay? X. This x is equal to what? The square root of 12 square plus 12 square. So we we'll use our calculator once again. Wow, good morning, Irene J.U. Thank you for showing up this morning, Mama Irene. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hope you slept well. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I said, let me do this quick one for our jam students out there that are about to go for the examinations. So I'm having 17, approximately 17 meters for x okay i'm having approximately 17 meters for x okay after using pythagoras theorem so with that we're going to find the cost the question says find the cost the cosine of the angle the cosine of this angle the cosine that means this is the value that they want us to get so our answer will be 12 over 17. That is the cosine of the angle. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad I've seen the answer. Found the answer. So if you look at the options, you will see 12 over 17. Option B gives us 12 over 17. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Okay. So, that's it. That's the solution to that problem. Which other problem can we solve now? Which other problem can we solve now? Just quickly. So,
Please don't forget to share out the host. Please don't forget to share out the host. Don't forget to share out the host. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for another question that we can solve this morning. Simplify. I'm seeing a question that says simplify. Okay. So remember what I said in my last video. I said if you're solving, if you're in an examination and you're solving some questions, you have to focus on the easy questions first. Solve the easy questions first of all. And if you can solve the easy questions, first of all, you have hope of acing that examination. Do not dwell on the difficult parts. Please do not dwell on the difficult parts of the question. All right? Try to get this board clean so that I can solve our next problem. Okay? So I can solve our next problem. Where is this board? If this thing can solve now. Okay. So the question is simplify this. Okay. That's question 12. It looks like it's going to be easy. Looking like it's going to be easy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. It says, question 12, question 12. Can you see? Question 12 says, simplify that function. That's question 12. This is question 12. Okay, simplify that function. Okay, so we're going to start, we we'll say, where do we start from? Okay, we we'll say, simplify. Three, twenty-four. Okay, minus four x squared. Right? All over 2x plus 18. Simplify 324 minus 4x squared all over 2x plus 18. Now we have a host of options here as our answer. Okay, so, so this looks like the square root of something. How do we know if it's a square root? You can use your calculator. If you're allowed to use your calculator, let's quickly say the square root of 3 to 4 is 18. Okay, but if you do not have a calculator, you can use a simple LCM method. Okay, 3 24. Okay, so we'll say, let's say um, 2. 2 goes here, how many times? 16 times and 2 times. Right? Another 2 goes here, 8 times and 1 time. So seeing 81, we all know that 9 will go into 81 9 times. Another 9 goes into 9 once. So we are left with 2 times 2 times 9. We are left with what? 2 times 2 times 9 times 9. So I've already seen 
something that looks like a square root here. If you cancel out one of each of the for sure, you have two times nine, giving you what? 18. So I just use the LCM method to find the square root of 324, okay? So having 324 here, we will have, we have somebody watching, you're welcome to this chat. You're welcome to this chat. Thank you for showing up, thank you for coming. Please help us to share out this link to others. This is a live jam classroom. And we're solving a likely question that they may meet during the examination. So we'll substitute 18 for this, right? We say 18 squared minus what? We'll also turn everything to the square root, okay? So we say the square root of four is two, the square root of x squared is x. Turn into a square, all right? All over two x plus 18. Now, this function, if I break it down to a quadratic function, we'll have it as what? 18 plus 2x bracket 18 minus 2x. Now, the denominator is the same from what I'm seeing here. We have 18 plus 2x. Now, if I expand this, this um, bracket, I will end up with this, um, I will end up with this solution. If I expand this bracket, I will end up with this numerator. All right? So I was able to break this down. So now having a denominator which is almost the same, what do we do? We're going to cancel this out. So our final answer is 18 minus 2x. 18 minus 2x. So let's take a good look at the options. 18 minus 2x. Okay, I'm seeing the options. If you look at these options, question, sorry, question 12. Look at these options. Question 12. Question 12. Okay, so I'm seeing different options. These are the options. Okay, these are the options in question 12. So, I'm seeing an option that looks like that. I saw an option that was written two, wait, was written what? Two bracket x minus nine. Two bracket x minus nine. Hello, Ruth or Hans, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Thank you very much, Ruth. Thank you for showing up. Please help me share out. <laughs> Sending loves from, from here. Sending lots of love from here. Thank you for coming. See, I'm sweating this morning, Ruth. <laughs> it's like the soup I'm preparing here on this board right now is very, very hot. <laughs> As I'm sweating. Maybe you guys should get me an air conditioner. Okay. So if the function, one of the options is what? Two bracket X minus nine. Two bracket X minus nine. Oh, okay. What's happening here? Two bracket X minus nine. Another option, this is option A. Option B says two, what? Two bracket nine plus X. Option C says 81 
minus x squared. And option D says minus 2 x minus 9. Minus 2 x minus 9. I think D is the answer. I think D is the answer because if you multiply minus 2 by x, it gives you what? Minus 2x. And if you add, multiply minus 2 by minus 9, it gives you 18. So, bingo. We found our option. D is the option. Okay? D is the option. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ruth and Hans. Thank you, Gift and J series. I greet you this morning, this wonderful Saturday, beautiful morning. Thank you so much, Ruth, for joining. Today, I'm going to actually just do one question today, and it's going to be a, a short live. It's going to be a short live. So, anybody that comes on can actually do a rewatch. So, what do you guys think about doing these classes in Pigeon English? Can I get your thoughts on that? What do you think about doing these classes in Pigeon English, guys? I just did my Facebook Live in Pigeon, actually. So, and it went well, it actually went well. So I'm thinking of doing this in Pigeon. What do you think? Is it a good idea or is it something I should not do? Sorry. That would be nice. Okay. Okay. How is the board? You can see, you can see clearly. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, you can't see the board clearly. Oh, sorry. Can you see the board clearer now? Can you see the board clearer now? Okay. The question is a bit tricky, but um, this the idea about maths and physics questions is they always want to trick you into failing the question. <laughs> it's like a game. In a way you're playing a game, there are levels. And probably the computer wants you to lose. Thank you. It's better. Thank you. Okay. I just discovered that I had a blackboard. I was always using the other side of the board. The other side of the board is white. And I found out that when I use a white board, the markers do not come out clearly. So, incidentally, I checked the back. <laughs> I found out that I could actually use a chalk at the back. Isn't that funny? I was ecstatic yesterday. I was so glad, so happy. I said, oh my God, this is much better. So, once in a while, I can use this board or I can use the other um, large blackboard. I can use the other large blackboard. So, like I was saying before, I started talking about the board. <laughs> I can see your smile, Gift and J series. So what I was trying to say, I said, the aim of maths questions and physics questions is to actually make you fail, fail the question. But one thing you should bear in mind in each maths and physics question is that there is a solution. There is a, there's a problem. Like now, if you see this question, this question, this is the question, right? Simplify 324 minus 4x squared all over 2x plus 18. Simplify. Simply five. So this question, you'll see, this is a question. This is a question. First of all, when you see this question, what came to my mind was this number. 
three to 24. I was like, oh, this is a large number. It's confusing and it's off. And then I saw X square. I saw four. Then something came to my mind. Oh, Chi, we're we having somebody here. Chiwa TV. Chiwa TV, you're welcome to this live chat. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Chiwa, lots of love from here. Sending positive vibes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as I was saying, when you say a maths question, the idea most times of the examiners is to make you feel. But at the same time, they don't want you to fail because they know that that question has a solution. Three to four. I didn't know it was a root of a question, of a number, but I used the LCM to investigate, right? So when I did check the LCM, I was like, whoops, I saw two twos and two nines. That means it's a square root, it's a square. And I found out that it was 18. And there's also another 18 in the denominator. That means the question is, is a viable question, all right? So if I put the square, which is 18 square, and then I put another square, right? And you know when you're solving a quadratic equation, you have a square, right? Minus b square. Taking 18 as a, and taking to x as what? b. The, the solution will always be a plus b bracket a minus b. That's the solution. a plus b, a minus b. So that's what I did here. I got 18 plus 2x bracket, 18 minus 2x bracket. Okay, so I want to get there, you've gotten your answer. Because under is what? 2x plus 18. And if you rearrange it, if you rearrange it, maybe you move 18 to this side and 2x to this side, you have 18 plus 2x, right? And then you have 18 plus 2x up, 18 minus 2x up. These two will cancel out because they are multiple. They, this, is, this bracket stands for multiplication. So these two will cancel themselves out, leaving us 18 minus two. And then in the options, the father went to confuse people by giving us option that is completely different from the final answer. But by the time we, by the time we, um, we simplified the final answer, we found it in the option as two x minus nine which was our what? D option. Which was our D option. So if you have any question or any other problem you want me to solve, let me know. I want to end the live here. I want to end the live here. And I also want to invite us for a chat. Chiwa, I'm going to visit you later. Chiwa. Chiwa TV, I'm going to come visit you. Gift and J series, I'm going to come visit you at your house. I'm going to come see you at your house. I think I have the others. I have the others. Chiwa TV, Gift and J series, I have you guys. So we're going to have a parents and um, children chit chat later in the evening. But I'm going to investigate. We're going to do some investigations on should parents rush their kids through school, like what we have today. Today we have so many babies in school, people that are not ready, <laughs> mentally, psychologically, physically ready for school. So we're going to investigate that topic later today. So I want to say bye to everybody. Have a lovely day. Have a blessed day. Have an excellent day. Have a fun field day. I want you to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Bye.